Whoa, Nelly. First thing in the day, fresh out the shower, wet hair and everything, a morning constitutional around the back of the garden included a tour of the polytunnel. Look what's happened. With the daily updates, you can't make up. It's the Black Isle Correspondent. She lives in Fort Rose and tells us what goes on. If your isolation causes desperation, try the Black Isle Correspondent. If you're feeling grumpy, you'll find some company here. You already know about the big long line of gem lettuces, but look! That is happening in the carrot aisle, but also this is occurring in the spring onion row. Really tiny, but progress. I've summoned the parents. Have you seen what's happening in your row of spring onions? Yeah, I've got you. You played that cool. No, that's a that's, that's a lettuce. That's not spring onion. That's a lettuce. What? Never mind that. What's that doing there? There. Oh my actual, on further inspection, there's loads of stuff happening in the little row of spring onions. This is amazing! A shoot! Here they are. They're really wee. Tickly. My friend Michael pointed out that the horticulture and botany that's happening here is like in the film The Martian where Matt Damon grows tatties on Mars. And I think it's a similar feeling of disbelief and amazement. Wowzers! Oh, Wonderful! Carrots! Yay. That looks like the carrots out of Bugs Bunny as well. It, it looks like the feathery top. Oh, oh, there's more, look! They were not here half an hour ago. Before I had my shower, they were not there. Ma'am, I don't think you wanted to see them. I oh, think... Oh, what a start to the day! Isn't that amazing? Oh. And there's Miles at the back of the polytunnel. Oh. Hi, Miles. Hiya, Miles. Hiya, bud. Hiya, Hello, gorgeous. Miles. Hello, this is Miles' fan club. Hi, right, Miles. Doing, eh? There's a lovely cup of tea over there. We'll catch you later. A couple of hours have passed. The hair's dried now, but I'm back in the polytunnel because Mum wanted it made very clear to you that the carrots that began sprouting are doing so in the unriddled soil, the nature rather than nurture side of the polytunnel. Just in case there's any confusion, it's the seed tape that's been held down by a big rock of concrete that we're starting to see carrot shoots sprouting. Following the excitement in the polytunnel, I had a further look at the plot that the pioneers had previously cultivated at the back of the garden. You might remember last week there was a bit of excitement about a potential one parsnip leaf. I continue to believe that this is a parsnip. A lot has happened since then. Look at this. We have got ourselves a tatty. There's a lot of other general action happening in here as well, but look, a tatty, we think. Something's coming through here. Anyone know what that is? I think that's a tatty. Tatties. Tatties everywhere. And the seed tatties that came from Alex next door appear to be turning into something. There are loads of these. Is that the start of a tatty? Looks a lot like the thing that I believe to be a parsnip. Hmm. Further science required. It's definitely true to say that I have got overexcited in the past few days about things that have fallen off this tree. But these are definitely coming out of the ground. And that is a positive. We're maybe not sure exactly what's happening, but something is going on in the garden. So exciting!